Chloe Murray, the American I was calling you with a great shot of you at half time. That's quite a bandana you're wearing there. You're certainly very proud of your roots in California. Uh to be honest, I used to just keep my hair back, but um, when I was smaller, um, my mum used to kill me because my hair would be coming down in front of my face and I wouldn't want to wear a hairband or anything like that, so messing one day she gave me a bandana. She said, throw that on so, and I think in spite, so it's just stuck now. I'm 28 wearing a bandana, but it just keeps my hair back, that's all. But uh, yeah, I was born in America, in California, so uh, I suppose it suits, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now to the game today. Dublin started like a house on fire. They really put it up to you. You needed something. You got a great goal in reply. Now they played it in nice and low to you and you finished it. But that, a great goal, but needed it at that point. Yeah, um, to be fair, Dublin were immense in the first 10 minutes. Um, they probably gave us the good, the good kick we needed. Um, we were quite lethargic, I suppose, to start. Um, just dead, but like they were running rings around us, stubborn were. Um, it was probably a bit lucky, I suppose. It was one of the first balls that came in that I, I got and got the goal. It was quite lucky, and I couldn't do anything else with it really but score it. And I would have been killed, I suppose, by everyone else if I didn't. So, um, yeah, from then on, we pushed on a little bit. But, um, like I was telling, I suppose, a few others, I thought it was quite unlucky that ourselves and Dublin were both in this position after 18 months of lockdown and then straight into like a relegation semi fine like they're, they're hard games to play so soon after being in lockdown if that makes sense um, I thought Dublin were excellent today and I thought it was a really good match um, I'm sure it was brilliant to watch it wasn't the best to be part of it was a uh, kind of like tender hooks I suppose but um, look I suppose it's one of those matches that it is definitely better or it would have been horrendous I suppose to lose it um, and we're just lucky that we came out the other side and we can finish off the league be done with it One of the things you needed today is a word that I'm actually seeing written on your arm there, resilience. What's that about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose a bit of resilience. Like I, and that was a thing we probably didn't do against Limerick. Um, just keeping the head and just staying composed, I suppose. Uh, like, look, as we said, I don't did we did Dublin have one four in us there at one point, um, and we had a point or nothing, I'd say. So just keeping the head and just staying composed. And I thought then we pushed on from there, even in the first half or the second half sorry they came back and got a goal straight away but just keep the heads and just stay composed I mean there's another 29 minutes to play after that so I thought we did really really well with that today Can I ask you why you have the word resilience tattooed on your arm? Um, I like tattoos I suppose and this just reminds me yeah keep the head I suppose I have a bit of a temper sometimes or uh, so just keep That's the, head. the American in you <laughs> Yeah that's it yeah 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 yeah. no I've, I'm full of tattoos so like the dictionary um, I have a few everywhere so <laughs> what's, the one, what's the other one on your uh, foot? This one's perspective I suppose just to keep an open mind and to be looking at things from a different angle so that's all yeah And are these all from experiences in Camogie or life? Um, probably life I would say that Camogie has definitely um, solidified them all right um, but probably just to just to a, a nice reminder just to keep on top of those things that's all Maury has come all the way out to hit this I mean surely she's not going for a score from there there's not that much of a breeze of any well there is a little bit if you look at the flag on the far side there is a bit is she really going from this one yeah. well inside her own she is going for, uh, if you say she is, she is yeah. oh my goodness she's got the distance <laughs> and she got the accuracy what a monster point from Chloe your freeze today obviously were crucial and you were pinging them from right we're in the, we're in Larna Park at the minute and it was even into the other half you got great connection on them you were telling me about your stick there it's actually yep. made of bamboo are you getting extra length and um, power out of that? Yeah, so I use a Torpy bamboo. Um, he would like, I suppose, and give him a shout out. I was pretty sceptical now, Sean Torpy down in 600 Bridge with them at the start, but um, I give them a shot and there's just a nice lightness out of them, um, to be honest, and then I get a great strike out of it. But uh, I was just saying as well, my manager does be um, slagging me sometimes before training as I go out and practice my freeze because I go out messing and practicing around midfield and he says, you'll never be coming out there to take him, don't worry about it, so I can stick it to him now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, look, it was just lucky they were in the centre of the field and look, that's my job. If I'm supposed to take freeze, I have to take freeze and I'm supposed to get them over so I wouldn't look too much into them. That They were grand. They, I hit them well, so that was it. <laughs> Well, the one early in the second half now, it was the furthest out in the entire game. That must be about the furthest you've ever hit one from now. Uh, yeah, there's also a wind with me, I suppose. Um... Oh, very light. <laughs> I can feel it here, but it's very light. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I was happy with it. It was a good old fist pump and uh, I let her roar as well. It's just nice when they go over, um, especially because the girls work incredibly hard. As you've seen, our backs work really, really hard. Um, so, like, look, it's, it's their scores. Um, I just have to come out, but as I said, they were they were in the middle. I I wouldn't I won't worry about them too much. That's my job. So. <laughs>